Hi Capricorn, welcome to your Spirit Guide Messages for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So we're going to take a look at what Spirit wants you to know right now. So we're going to get a lot of different messages. Please only take the messages that you feel resonate for you. Not every message may be for you, so please do keep that in mind. Uh, we'll just take the messages as they come. So this is what Spirit wants you to know right now. It is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. But if you would like a private reading, all that information is down below in the description box. Tons of information down there, so please feel free to check that out. And if you're new, you can check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free to subscribe and hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about four or five readings uh, um, a month, and they're all different. So you can check that out if you like to. And if you do subscribe, thank you, and welcome to the family. So let's see what Spirit has for Capricorn this time around. Welcome, everyone. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy at this time. Well, Capricorn, we get about three messages from each deck. And then we'll clarify the messages with the tarot. So again, like I said, only take oh, that's four, the messages you feel resonate for you. We may get a lot of different messages. We may get a few. Sometimes it's one big message. So however it resonates, however they come out. So, And we sort of have like a theme this month. We have sort of like a magical, mythical theme. We have the fairies, we have the mermaids, and we have the unicorns. So, And then we got the Celtic... Tarot, which is kind of like a mystic, mystical kind of tarot also. So show me what I need to see for Capricorn Spirit, please. What do you want to tell them at this time? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. For the collective, three most important messages from this deck. What Capricorn at this time, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. One more. Okay, that one. And let's get three from the unicorns. And then we'll go over them and then I'll throw a few tarot on each one and see what we get. What Capricorn spirit, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Jupiter, male or female for the general collective. Three most important messages that Capricorn needs to know at this time from you, spirit, please. Thank you so much. Show me what I need to see for Capricorn. Two more. One more, oh, one more, one more for Capricorn. That's three, I just want one. Take that one. All right, let's see what we have for you, Capricorn. So first we have romantic partner. Oh, somebody may have a new romantic partner coming in or things uh, may be going pretty good with your partner or maybe leveling up in some way, shape or form. So something involving your uh, romantic partner here, we'll see when we get into the tarot what that is about. Rise above problems. So maybe if you are having problems with a loved one, again, with your partner, uh, maybe you'll be rising above that. Or that could be something totally different if that's not with your romantic partner. There's a problem somewhere else in your life, whatever that may be, that's significant in your life right now. Uh, I see you know, energy's rising above that, or the energy is here to rise above that. And we have problem resolved. Wow, so this, <laughs> I can't make it up. So these two, I mean, they kind of all go together. If you are having a problem with your partner, I see a problem being resolved and rising above it. Or, you know, again, rising above a problem and it's resolved, so... Wow, so that's good energy. So let's see. I feel like that's like one message right there, if that's how it resonates for you. So let's see what the mermaids have to say. Synchronicity. Your prayers and questions are being answered in by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. So something is happening like, um, like universal events for you. So keep track of like timelines of things if you notice certain things happening. It's all like divine timing, like the Wheel of Fortune kind of energy. Things that are meant to be going uh, probably in your favor, hopefully. So notice that. And you can kind of help the, you can help the process along a little bit by working with the energy, if that makes sense for you. And then we have here waves of prosperity. New abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now. This has been coming out a lot. So you may have a new opportunity 
coming in. You may notice a sequence, uh, sequence of events happening like uh, maybe your work's not going so good, then all of a sudden somebody tells you, oh, you know, this is other opportunity, you know, somewhere else, or, you know, you hear of a better opportunity, and then all of a sudden you get an opportunity to either apply for the position, or you apply, and then there's a good chance you're going to, I mean, things may be just lining up for you. If it's not career, it could be something else, and I do see prosperity coming in, so that's a good sign. And break free, try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. So some of you need to try some new things. Or you could be breaking free of, and I had just said that, of maybe something no longer serving you. It could be career orientated or something else. But it's like, this feels like a sequence of events that's going to allow you to take a new opportunity in some way, shape, or form. And allow you to break free from something no longer serving you. And then will allow for much more prosperity in your life. Wow. Okay. So let's see what the unicorns have to say. Happy thoughts. To feel happier right now, think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. This is telling you to be in a good vibration, a positive vibration. Only think happy, positive thoughts. Because that's just going to help you um, manifest. It'll help you in your energy, your vibration, things around you change the changes that you that you're going through are positive so wow so <laughs> if you're feeling like they're not or it's not feeling positive this is telling you here to get in a happy positive mind frame vibration definitely here so you could be going through a sort of change could have to do with whatever's going on over here or over here so and then we have best friends. True friends stick together no matter what. So you have good friends you can rely on, uh, help you through change, through choices, through problems, you know, for guidance, help, um, just a shoulder to cry on. So don't, you know, don't take um, that for granted. You know, appreciate them. Wow. Don't forget them either is what I'm getting with that. So let's clarify this energy for you. Capricorn. Let's clarify this energy for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female for the general collective of Capricorns. Let's clarify these energies for you. All right. So what is romantic partner about? What is that about? So if some of you are single, could have somebody new coming in, something leveling up, or something to do with whatever's going on with your romantic life. So let's see what that is about for Capricorn. What is this romantic partner about, please, for Capricorn? Let's get a couple. Well, we got three. Okay, sometimes it's three. So, oh my goodness, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, King or Queen, doesn't matter, and then the Ten of Cups. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Uh, you may be getting proposed to. <laughs> Wow. Or definitely here a commitment or a proposal to level up in some way, shape, or form. To a Ten of Cup energy, total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. This is definitely the marriage card, Ten of Pentacles. This is where we're share sharing everything together, assets. It's a legacy of the family dynamic, um, family, wealth, abundance, the everything here. And then you've got the Queen of Shields, King or Queen with the Pentacle. So you may have your partner here proposing or something or wanting to be exclusive or wanting to commit. And it's looked like, you know, male or female, but you may be thinking about it. So I think your romantic partner, for some of you, may be coming in with a solid offer. And you may, because they got two tens here. Wow. So, but you may think about it for some reason. <clears throat> Maybe you'll accept it. I don't know. But I do see something leveling up there to the whole ten, ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Wow. That's like fulfillment in every aspect of a relationship. And a solid offer with the Pentacle energy. That's long-term growth, abundance, stability. But that person's kind of just looking at the Pentacle, thinking about it. So you need to think about it, think about it. But And that's definitely your energy with the uh, Pentacles. That's Earth energy. So what is this rise above problems about? What, what are we rising above? What are we rising above for? Okay, we'll take the bottom. 
So we have the Empress and the King of Wands. So this is like a couple here almost. So the mother here, I mean, you could be a mother, you could be with child, you could be, you know, it doesn't have to be, but the mother here, uh, Empress, definitely knows her value, her worth. She's stable, she's grounded. You know, she embodies every element of the queens. But we got the King of Wands here. This is a fiery, passionate energy. I feel like maybe some of you have been waiting, you know, if you're the Empress or the Emperor, you've been waiting for your partner to level up to your energy. So they're almost there. They're at a king or a queen, but they're not quite yet at the emperor and empress, and you are already at that stage. But we do have rising above, so I feel like, you know, if this has to do with over here, then I feel like your person is rising up to that and meeting you and coming into, like, the other energy, the emperor or the empress up to your level. All right, so, and I just saw the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. So this is fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in a better direction, bringing in what is meant for you. So, wow, okay. So this is fate and destiny. So problem resolved. What is that about for... If it's not that... Um, I mean, we do have a couple there in Fate and Destiny. So, you know, if you are having problems with your person or could even be a family member, I just see things getting better. You know, someone will see value, worth um, of the issue or whatever here. And things will start to get better. If it's not uh, with your partner, like your lover or whatever here. So what is problem resolved? What are we resolving for Capricorn, please? Thank you so much. So we have the Six of Wands, and we have the Devil. Yeah, it's a Devil. So, you know, this is toxic energy, or it's just low self-esteem, fear, doubt, worry. can be addictions, obsessions. Um, doesn't have to be. It can be a strong attachment to something also. But we do have success, victory here, accomplishment. So I feel like whatever this toxic energy was... Whatever, this is like the problem, okay? Devil here is the problem. Whatever that was doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. Uh, I mean, it could be, but it, it's something that was just definitely a problem, you know? But here we are gaining uh, victory, success. So problem resolved. So here we are being successful. Here's a problem. Here's the problem being resolved and being successful. Successfully solving the problem. So that's what I see here. So problem resolved. So whatever that is for you, so whatever problem you're going through, whatever is weighing you down, whatever is an issue in your life right now, I do it be, see it being resolved and moving on successfully from that, whatever that energy is. So that could have uh, nothing to do with like your partner. It could just be person, place, thing, situation, something with work, uh, you know, whatever, you know, the issue was for you or problem. But I do see it being resolved, successfully resolved, and moving on. So, all right. So let's see what this synchronicity, your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. The Capricorn. So we have the Page of Shields and Justice. So, so the Page of Shields is about communication. So this could be from Source sending you very... Um, Stable signs. You may be seeing signs. It may sound weird. Maybe because the pentacles is about, you know, material and monetary things. Maybe like outside in nature or maybe you're finding coins or, you know, getting some sort of signs, you know, could be, you know, in your work environment or something like that. But this is justice. So this is fate, destiny. This is, you know, the scales balancing out, having truth and clarity. This is like divine source. Setting up, setting up the uh, sequence of events here, and you receiving those uh, messages um, and events and, and noticing them here and studying them and saying, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. Wow. So <laughs> pay attention to things, if they're random or if they're silly or if they don't make sense. Uh, even journal them, keep track, because you don't know, uh, it could be, 
messages hidden in there also and maybe you know research them look them up they always say things happen for a reason so however that means for you and the page of shields can be you know like that new opportunity work career finance a raise a promotion a new job or something here learning something new all right so waves of prosperity new abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now what is that for Capricorn, please? Let's get one more. So we have the Father and we have the Hierophant. So, and we did have the Empress over here. So now we got the Mother and the Father. So now we have do we do have divine counterparts, even though this this for this message over here, I still feel like this is your person leveling up to your level now. And now we have commitment on the table here which is what we have over there. So, But now, waves of prosperity, new abundance, exciting opportunities wash over you now. So, again, this is divinely guided and led to you with the um, Hierophant energy here. It's about faith, spirituality, commitment, marriage, but it can also be like that spiritual energy also, like divine source. And now, emperor, emperor energy or emperor empress, but um, allowing you to be this emperor or empress, you know, having a lot of value and worth, stable and grounded, breath of new things in your life, a lot of growth and abundance. And I feel like it's like divinely orchestrated you for you here. So that's what I get with that. So just trust in the process, stay committed to the journey, to whatever's coming into you, and trust that it is divinely guided to you and will lead you to a new phase in your life of total wealth, abundance, prosperity. Wow, okay. Could have the opportunity to own your own business, to uh, be, you know, a boss, a manager, or something like that, or just, you know, being in control of your life in some way, shape, or form. All right, so break free, try different ventures and experiences. That's way too many as a way to grow and learn. So we've got one, one more. So we have the Seven of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So the Seven of Cups here can talk of choices, uh, confusion, options. So if you're in an, in an energy right now, for some of you, where you have many choices or an option or a decision to make and you're feeling cloudy, you don't know what to do, feeling confused, um, it's time to break free of that energy and make a choice here because we do have the Knight of Shields, which takes action. It's a very slow moving action, but it's stable, it's ground, it's secure. They're very uh, practical, smart, wise, they're very cautious. So if you're breaking free from something and you have like other options, choices, or things that you need to do or tend to or whatever here, be wise, be smart, be practical, don't rush, take your time. But it's time to break free and take, take some sort of action to make a choice here and just be smart and practical about that choice moving forward. That's best for you. That will bring you the most stability. Again, the Pentacles is a work about career finance, but it doesn't have to be. All right. So, and that's your energy. Pentacles is your energy. So what is happy thoughts... Feel happy, to feel happier right now. Think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. So we have the Knight of Wands and the King of Cups. So King or Queen doesn't matter here, but we have the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands takes action. You know, it's very fiery, passionate energy. Go get her, go after what they want. Drive ambition. King of Cups energy here. Um... Somebody, you know, who has deep love emotions, feelings, but doesn't necessarily state them often. So, again, I think here, you know, this is about being a good, in a high vibration, being that passionate go-getter, and also being in tune and in touch with your love, your emotions, your feelings, being at, you know, peace and harmony, you know, very mature kind of energy. So to be in that high vibration, having, having positive, happy thoughts, so that we can move forward, a lot of driving ambition, so we can be successful. Because you see him sitting in the water, but he's, you know, water is always about, you know, deep emotions, but he's calm, and the water is calm, so he's in control of his emotions, 
even though a schlong's hanging out. I don't know why this deck, but anyway, <laughs> let's do that. Okay. <laughs> All righty. So let's see. Change. <laughs> The changes that you're going through are positive. I don't know why that just cracked me up. Uh, let's see. The Knight of Wands, I mean, <laughs> they always say the Knight of Wands is that fiery, passionate player. I guess he would be with a schlong hanging out there. <laughs> oh, okay, so change. The changes that you're going through are positive. So what is this change about for Capricorn? <clears throat> or Capricorn. So we have here the Page of Wands and the King of Shields. That's your energy again. So, <coughs> sorry, I'm scratching my throat. So the Page of Wands is about good news coming in, an offer, something exciting, idea, endeavor, project, uh, something here. Could be an opportunity, a, a, you know, creative opportunity, a job opportunity, entrepreneurship kind of energy. Could be, you know, somebody offering you who is very stable, wise, and grounded. Somebody maybe who owns their own business. Or an opportunity for you to be in that energy of being like this king of pentacle energy. Someone who could be like a boss or a manager or something to do with finances or something like that. And here's the change. So whatever this change is, if it's a new opportunity, a new job, or um, something here, it's for the positive. So just to know if you're considering this, because this person is kind of considering that uh, it's a positive change. So whether you're trying to become, you know, a manager or an old business owner or, you know, trying to, you know, maybe even take on a new job or something, career change that the change is positive, whatever that means for you. And I see a lot of growth, stability, abundance as the King of Pentacles. Because we have the King, we had the uh, Emperor, the Empress here so far, um, and the Queen of Pentacles, and now the King. So we do have two energies of divine counterparts here, the King and Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Empress. So some of you are definitely dealing with the soulmate here that wants to uh, commit definitely over there. So best friends, true friends stick together no matter what. What is that about? So, yeah, we got the nine of wands. Energy, one more. So we got the nine of wands and we have the eight of cups. So I feel like, you know, the nine of wands, you know, this person's been through a struggle, battle, and a fight. And we have the eight of cups. You know, I feel like this is like walking away from battles, like tired of fighting battles. Like it's just like, I can't do it anymore. It's a struggle. It's a battle. It's a fight. I feel like beat up, worn out. I'm tired. And this is just like walking away from arguments, battles, fights, or struggles. It's just like walking away. It's like, I just can't do it anymore. So, but no, do know that you have good friends around you though. that are there to help you, support you through challenging times. Whatever you're going through, whatever battles, struggles that you're going through. And you feel like you just can't face it alone here. You do have best friends. Don't forget them that can help you. Let me get one more. So I feel like that's you just walking away from battles and struggles and fights. And this might be an energy of not to give up. And you may feel at times like, I just can't do it anymore. It's too much of a struggle. And like turning your back and walking away. What else? Can we get one more? Eight of Pentacles. So this is putting in the work and the effort. So, yeah, something here is a lot of work, a lot of effort. You feel like you can't do it. It's too too much of a struggle, battle, and a fight. And you're an energy of, like, I'm just going to walk away. It's too much work. Um, let me get one more. So should you keep working on this? Two of shields. So this is, yeah, <laughs> a lot of imbalanced energy, like juggling. I don't know what to do here. It's too much work. And I'm feeling just beat up and worn out and stressed with the Nine of Swords about this heartbroken it's too much pain wow what well, i don't know what this is but whatever you're going through here um gets uh, get you know get some help from your friends yeah so whatever the situation is we have death here so it's probably a good time to just let it end naturally maybe it is a good option to walk away just let it end so you can transform 
and heal and have a new beginning because the seven of wands, very defensive energy, like always like on the fight, uh, ready to defend yourself or, you know, just very defensive because of the situation, whatever it is for you. Uh, maybe time here just to let it go altogether. Wow. Okay, and the best friends there, I feel like if it is a best friend that you feel like was your best friend forever and now something happened where it's just, you feel like this is just the end, that, that could be it. Or whatever you're going through here, you know, turn to your best friend for that help, support, guidance uh, that you need through this time. So however that, however that resonates for you. Yeah, look at that even at the end, Ten of Swords, painful, heartful ending. So something... Uh, Painful ending here. Two cards of endings, so only you know what that is. Alrighty, Capricorn, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channels, to always, always shine your light.